All right. So we talked about Samuel, yes? We learned what he prophesied, yes? And we know that the Nephites are looking for the coming of Jesus Christ, where there will be a night and a day and a night, and there will be no darkness. Did it happen? Let's find out. So, open up your eyes, open up your ears. Let's watch. Signs of Jesus' birth. Faith in a prophet's teachings. It had been about five years since Samuel the prophet taught about the signs of Jesus Christ's birth. Many people believed and watched for the signs. Other people said Samuel was wrong and the time for the signs had already passed. They made fun of the believers and said Jesus would not come. The believers were worried, but they had faith. They kept watching for the signs. One sign was a night when it would not get dark. It would be as bright as day even after the sun went down. The night without darkness would be a sign that Jesus would be born the next day in another land. The people who did not believe made a plan. They picked a day and said that if the sign did not happen by that day, the believers would be put to death. A man named Nephi was a prophet at this time. He was very sad that some people wanted to put the believers to death. Nephi bowed down on the ground and prayed to God for the believers who were about to die because of their faith. He prayed all day. In answer to his prayer, Nephi heard Jesus' voice. Jesus said the sign would happen that night and then he would be born the next day. That night, there was no darkness even though the sun went down. The people who had not believed Samuel's words were so surprised that they fell to the ground. They were afraid because they had not believed. The next day, the sun rose again and the sky stayed bright. All the people knew that this was the day Jesus would be born. The people saw another sign. A new star appeared in the sky. All the signs that Samuel spoke about came true. The people who believed were not put to death. Instead, many more people believed in Jesus and were baptized. It happened! Jesus Christ was born and the Nephites were watching and waiting and hoping for him to come. What happened when the sign came? Yes, all the believers in Christ were protected. They were not slain as other people wanted to do. And even those people who had not been looking for the sign and who were going to hurt everyone who did believe, they became believers. They saw the sign too, and they knew Jesus Christ was real. Oh, that gives me goosebumps even thinking about it. Look at this picture. What do you see? Isn't it incredible? Look at the joy on the little boy's face. The sign had come. Jesus Christ was on the earth, and they could not have been more filled with peace and joy knowing that their faith in him was real and that he was real and that everything that Samuel had prophesied was real. I just can't even believe it. And so, so many people became something that day. They were changed and they chose to follow Christ. Did you know that there is a very cool word 
that means a follower of Jesus Christ. Yes, the word is disciple. Have you heard that before? Let's think for a minute. What is a disciple? I bet we could find some answers in the scriptures. So let's pull those out. Do you have your Book of Mormon today? Excellent. Open up your scriptures. Let's read. 3 Nephi chapter 5 verse 13 Behold, I am a disciple of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I have been called of him to declare his word among his people, that they might have everlasting life. In this scripture, a disciple of Christ is one who is called to declare his word. That is anyone who has faith in him, anyone who's been baptized, we promise to declare his word, to share him, to share our testimonies with everyone. Let's look in this scripture and see what a disciple of Christ looks like. Open up those scriptures again. Let's find out. 3 Nephi chapter 6 verse 14 Yea, insomuch that in the thirtieth year the church was broken up in all the land, save it were among a few of the Lamanites, who were converted unto the true faith, and they would not depart from it. For they were firm and steadfast and immovable, willing with all diligence to keep the commandments of the Lord. I love this one. They were firm and steadfast and willing with all diligence to keep the commandments of God. That is a disciple of Christ. They were true to the faith, true to him. That is a disciple. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. The scriptures are incredible. And we can see how the Nephites and the Lamanites went through so many things and had to trust in the Lord. They had to follow him and they had to keep their faith in him to keep moving forward. Is that any different than it is today? Everything we read in here that we learn is for our benefit and learning, our help, our guide, because we are experiencing the same things. That is so wild. And as we have faith in Jesus Christ, as we choose to be disciples of him, he will guide us, he will protect us, and he will help us to know how to look forward to his coming again with hope and peace and joy. Just like that little boy in the picture, we can feel those things as we are disciples of Jesus Christ. With all of that, do you want to do a little activity? Something simple, but pretty fun. And it will be a great reminder of what you want to be. So for this activity, you will need a piece of paper, any color you like, and something to draw with. All right, do you have those things? Perfect, all right. You are going to take this paper, put your hand on it. Have you done this before? Put your hand on there and trace it. Ready? Let's go. How did yours turn out? Here's mine. It looks great, right? I made my fingers so big. It looks like a cartoon hand. All right, did you get yours drawn? The next part of our project is to write some words. Your first word. I. Can you do that? If not, get a grown-up to help. Excellent. Your next word is... Am. Very good. After that, 
A. I am A. What are you? Do you know what this is going to say? Disciple. I am a disciple of who? You got it! Of Jesus Christ. I am a disciple of Jesus Christ. Do you believe that? Do you believe him? I believe it. I know it. If you are trying to follow him, you are a disciple. Oh, so awesome. I have a song for you. It's a good one. If you know it, sing along. Otherwise, listen to the words. What is it saying? And what do you want to be? Are you ready? La 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 la. Let's sing or listen to. When the stars burn out and the strong winds come I will lift my eyes to the rising sun He is the Prince of Peace He steadies my soul I am His hands and feet The whole world will know a disciple of Christ I will never leave him He is the truth and the life He's the strength in my weakness I will shine till the whole world sees He's the light that will set us free I'm a disciple of Christ Out of all the paths that I could take Giving him my life was the only way, only way He is my fire by night The air in each breath So I'll stand and testify Again and again I'm a disciple of Christ And I will never leave him He is the truth and the He's the strength in my weakness I will shine till the whole world sees He's the light that will set us free I'm a disciple of Christ A disciple of He's the strength in my weakness I will shine till the whole world sees He's the light that will set us free Oh, I'm a disciple of Christ A disciple of Christ A disciple of
a disciple of Christ. What more is there to say? I love him. I know he lives. I know he is real. And I want to follow him. And the more I follow him, the more I know that what he has taught and what he wants us to know is real and true. You can know too. Read in the scriptures, pray always, and be firm and steadfast in your faith in him. Never let it go. And the more you hold on, the more you will feel that strength from him. I know it. And the more you pass that on to others and share it, you will feel that strength. That is real, and that is a promise. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.